Hi, I'm Maggie Harding, and I'm here today with Eileen Hall's Inspiration Team for Physics. And today I'm going to be making a wraparound mini journal. Now this is the latest, one of the latest dies in Eileen's new Book Club 2 collection. First thing I'm doing here is just painting the entire cover with clear gesso. Now where you've got the folds where the cover is going to wrap around, you want to make sure that you don't get so much gesso in there that it kind of glues it shut. So now that I've put the gesso on, I'm just kind of folding it. Now I'm going to use Distress Oxide ink to color my cover. I am going to be putting some paper on it, so I'm going to be concentrate, concentrating on the edges more than anything. So I'm going to start off with fossilized amber. I'm just going to apply some ink here and there. Now the fun thing about distressed oxides is when you add water, the colors just come alive. Now I'm using paper from Stamperia Alchemy. This is a Italian company. And papers are really interesting. This from this paper. And I pulled out this. So I cut out some additional designs from the design paper. I'm inking around the edges of the mini completely as well as all of the little cut aparts. And the little round one there, I glued onto a little piece of chipboard and I inked the back of it since it's going to hang off the front cover. Now there in the middle, I did stamp um, a sun using a Stamperia stamp, but I didn't think it turned out very well. I'm such a lousy stamper. So I'm partially covering it with additional uh, cut apart. So now I want to add three little magnets to act as closures for the mini album. So I'm just pasting them inside the front cover. So I'm just removing this cut apart because I want the magnets to be underneath the paper. So just fold your book close, marked where the closure should be, and then remove the little adhesive backing on the magnets and your mini will close up perfectly. Now I use some E6000 because the magnets don't always adhere well to a glue, uh, an inch surface. So now we'll make some signatures to go inside of our mini. Signatures are the little booklets that go inside. So I've cut three sheets of cardstock to six and a half inches wide by five inches. And I'm scoring and folding in half at the three and a quarter inch mark. Now I'm going to cut some cut aparts to put on the front and to have a nice interesting edge I'm taking a wet paintbrush and going around the edges so that it'll tear off real easily. This is a 
great little tip for uh, tearing paper. It makes it a lot easier. Then, of course, I'm just going to ink them up and glue them to the front of each signature. Then you can take your distress tool and kind of shave off any more paper you need so that it fits nicely onto your uh, signature cover. Now I'm going to cut some more pages, six and a half by five, score in the middle and fold to make additional pages for each signature. Now, as you put the signatures together, the inner pages are going to start to spread out beyond the edge of the front page. So you can cut your um, pages that go inside successively smaller, like instead of six and a half, you can make it six, a six and a quarter and then six inches and then put them together that way. Another thing you can do is simply just trim the edges off as you put the little booklets together. To put your books together, you can sew them together or you can use a stapler. My stapler has about a four and a quarter inch reach and that works just about perfectly. It does take a little practice, but it won't take you long to get the hang of it. For the inside cover, choose a cut apart to go on the front flap and trim it to fit and adhere. Now cut a piece of paper to fit the remainder of the inside of the mini. That should be about nine and a quarter inches wide by five and an eighth. Then you want to score at one and a half, five and a quarter, and six and three quarters so that you can fit it to the folds inside the mini. So now adhere your paper to the inside of the mini. I use score tape and a little glue just because I like the way it holds the paper in the folds, but you can use whatever you like. Okay, so here I am making a little tuck pocket, so I'm just putting glue around two sides and I'm adhering it on the right side. You can see you can tuck a little tag into it. Okay, I'm going to put a hole in the back of the spine so that I can do a wrap around. So I'm going to center it. Right here. I'm just going to use my big bite to punch a hole. Use the smaller setting, which is the 1 8. go. Now I've got about a yard here of elastic cord. I took um, some distress ink and just pulled, did it like that. And then I squirted it with a little water and kind of smushed it up. And so now it's kind of a, a little bit of a brown color. But I make sure it's dry good before you start lacing. Okay, to thread it, start the thread from the outside going to the inside. So come through the top left hole to the inside, go down to the bottom left hole, and thread it through, and then thread it back to the inside through the hole adjacent at the bottom, come back up to the top, and thread it through, then thread it through the hole next to that one, and come back inside, Then thread it down to the third hole from the left at the bottom. Bring it back inside by going to that furthest hole on the right. Bring it back up to the top. And then bring it back into the third hole at the top. Now take the string that's hanging on the outside from the beginning and thread it through the second hole at the top into the inside. Then take that down to the bottom, the second hole from the left, and thread it through to the outside. As you can see, I'm fumbly fingers here. Then thread it through the third hole from the left. Now your two pieces of elastic should line up and you can tie it off by tying a square knot.
And I always use a square knot because you can untie that. Now I have a button and I have threaded a piece of jute through it. I'm going to thread these two pieces of elastic through this hole that I put in the center. And now I am going to attempt to thread the elastic through the button and it's going to be tough because this jute is pretty thick. There's not a lot of room left in there. Aha. Well, almost. Now I'm just going to tie this off. Okay, and there we go. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.